surveillance camera capturing a tree falling on a home in Texas last year. Strong winds hit the town of Greenville, causing extensive damage. That tree fell in the summertime, but what happened in the winter could have led to its downfall. And that's the case this weekend with the snow, ice, and wind forming along with uh, winter storm Jacob. But winter is a great time to also get those trees checked out. Joining us on the phone right now is Sean Zingit of the Davy Tree Expert Company with tips on tree damage prevention and tree cleanup. Good morning to you. Thanks so much for joining us this morning. Good morning, Leanna. How are you? Great, great. I mean, uh, this is very concerning because I myself actually had a tree fall in our yard and thankfully it only damaged a mailbox. But talk to us about what's the most likely causes for a tree to come down. Uh, many times there's defects or problems in trees that uh, we can't see. There might be a hollow spot or a split or a crack or something that we're not aware of. Or maybe a winter storm hits it and breaks a limb, but we don't see it right away. And then later on in the year, maybe a summer storm hits and then that limb breaks or the tree cracks or some, some uh, problem happens like the tree hitting a mailbox. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it's terrifying. It was a huge tree too. But um, how can homeowners prevent tree damage? Well, proper pruning, inspection, having a certified arborist look at the tree and look for those different problems that maybe the average homeowner is not aware of. And uh, winter is a great time for an arborist to look at that tree because without the leaves on there, if you live in an area of the country where uh, the leaves drop off, now you can see that tree better. You can see those problems that are there when maybe in the summertime is a little bit harder to observe that. That's a great point. It's something that I, uh, as I was preparing for the interview, I was like, that's very fascinating that wintertime is the best time to have those trees inspected. So, I mean, how do you even know when a tree should come down and you should call someone to get the tree inspected? Well, the first step is just getting that, that professional, that certified arborist inspect it that's going to be know what to look for. And it is a difficult question. We, we look for, we love our trees. We love them to be, you know, shade our homes and, and make things look nice, uh, but we can't have them falling on our homes. So it's a fine line, but we're looking for these different issues that greatly increase or, or make a, a tree at high risk of breaking in, in maybe moderate to severe storm events. Uh, hollow areas, rot, m mushrooms, uh, raccoons living in the tree, you know, anything that tells us that there might be a problem. And then, and then we have to make a tough decision on whether we can do things to lower the risk of that tree breaking, you know, proper pruning and cabling, or whether that tree is so far decayed or so far damaged that we can't preserve it.